All right, Jason, since you're so smart, if my hardwood floor shows gaps between boards in the winter months, is it defective? No, it's actually pretty normal for wood to show gaps in the winter months because um, summer times we have higher humidities, which is more moisture in the air. Um, and then in the winter months, we got drier airs. People are running, a lot of people use wood heat, which is really dry heat. So it's pretty normal to see a few gaps here and there in the winter months, and then they usually clo close back up in the summer months. I have heard that uh, when you're talking about wood heat being a dry heat, that um, LP gas, L, you know, if you use gas heat, that it puts back about a, what, three quarts of water for every gallon it, is, it burns? It is supposed to. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. You so, know, when because we, it's a real dry heat too. Right, you know, when yeah. you go to grandma and grandpa's house when you're younger, they, uh, they had on the fireplace, had a big pot of water. It's because it got so dry in the house, everything shrunk. And that's just, you know, getting cracks from your boards is right. just a seasonal movement. And a lot of times you see them around the vents before you yep. do anywhere else right. anyway. So. Here's a good one. What does a hardwood flooring, flooring warranty cover? Not much. Uh, and, you know, retailers are probably more to blame than manufacturers, but we, we always want big warranties because we're too lazy to sell a floor on its attributes. What we should be doing is explaining to customers which floors will wear better and not throw this big warranty out there that makes you think that's how long your floor is going to last. A warranty is meant to cover manufacturing defects. That's all it's meant to cover. And in the hardwood business, in the LVP business, if you're going to have a, a warranty issue, you're only going to need a warranty for probably 15 minutes after it comes out of the box. You know, does it go together for a click floor? Will it click? Is it, you know, for some reason it's not going together? That's a milling issue. That's a warranty issue. Take it back and get your money back or get some more material. With hardwood, you know, will it go together when it, when it goes together with the tongue groove? Is it lining up or is one piece a little higher than the other? That's a bad thing, okay? That's a warranty issue. Once a floor's installed, literally 99% of the problems you have after that are job site related, okay? It's moisture. It's, it's how you're treating it, you know, things like that. Um, you know, if you run through their baseball cleats, you know, don't call me and say, hey, I got a warranty issue. My floor's dead. Well, no kidding. You wore roller skates in the house. Um, you know, or tell me your floor's cupping and you don't turn on the air conditioner. I get out there and you've got the doors and windows open. Well, of course it's cupping. The relative humidity in here is 80%, okay? Will warranty cover that? Absolutely not. The manufacturer did nothing wrong when they made that floor that would make it cup or that would make it dent, Okay. Now, denning is really more about how dense the wood is, and you can read some of our blogs or watch our videos about denning and about Jenka testing. There's, you know, the Jenka test tells us the density of woods, how they compare to another wood. So if, you know, if you, you really don't want your floor to dent, then don't buy a pine floor. Don't buy a soft maple floor. Buy a hickory floor. Buy a hand scrape floor, okay? Um, don't, don't count on the warranty covering things like denning and, and cupping.